Okay, just think about our fathers, sisters, brothers who are of previous generation. You can. Do you think they will ever sit at a restaurant to play any, you know, third party show or need for speed or asphalt? No, they will never. But they will have a temptation to see some kind of, you know, very like your snake game, you know, which is very famous, isn't it? So mobile gaming, it is reaching to both gamers and non-gamers. Previously, desktop gaming or your uh, game consoles like PlayStation, Xbox, these are for gamers. They are never for non-gamers. You can't see a non-gamer going into a store and buying a PS2 box for 20,000 and then uh, buying each title for 500 or 700. No, you don't have, ever even think about it because we don't know game. We don't want to do game. We have so many other uh, kinds of entertainment like movie or beach or whatever, or TV, of course. But mobile gaming is not like that. You see, like very normal people casually opening a game and playing it, which is everywhere. When you are on a train, you can see on a you know bus stop, you can see everywhere. Wherever there is a waiting, definitely that waiting will change to either a phone call or an SMS or a game. Right? So that's the point. So media event, movies and music. Okay. So I am very sure most of you when you leave these premises Go back to your phone. On the way, you will have your so so your mobile phone has made it much simpler. In the years before mobile phone revolution, we had Walkman, something called Walkman, where a tape you know, cassette was used to put. We used it, but the difference is it's very limited. I mean, when you are putting a cassette in, it's hardly six songs, eight songs, isn't it? But now, thousand songs. Also, it is possible. You have a, like a mobile phone with 8 GB capacity or 16 GB capacity, it's quite possible to carry you know, thousands of songs, or two, three movies. Isn't it? So, that's about media. So, most of the entertainment that you see, that you get, apart from watching TV, is fulfilled by your mobile phone. Isn't it? Mobile phone, and sometimes like iPad, tablet also. When I say, you know, Mobile phone don't, don't just uh, limit it to the mobile phone at all. It's including any handheld device. Like if you have Okay. Am I audible? Everybody can listen to me. Yeah, so we don't have any problem continuing with this. I think only the slides will have trouble. Internet has changed our you can safely say it has transformed our lives to such an extent that anything you can you can uh, any, any anything you want to do in the market like buying like paying bills like your uh, you know, transport requirements like traveling. All this, you know, in which we spend most of our time outside our regular room. So, like office going people, they spend nine hours, eight hours in their office. Rest of the time, what they're doing, they're doing their shopping, or doing some work for home, isn't it? So these things, which were occupying most of our personal life. So when internet came in, banking. One best example is banking. Just imagine before internet, how was the situation in banks? Of course, for that population, maybe it was a little okay. But still, you want anything, you want to uh, you know, transfer some money to, uh, from your account to someone's account, you have to go to a bank, stand in a queue, fill up a form, and you hand it all to them before the you know, web banking uh, days I'm talking about. But internet has come, it made sure that you sit wherever you want, maybe your office, your home, you know, relax on your sofa, watching TV, open on internet banking, give your credentials, log in, and like this is the account I want to send, 300, and that's it. It will take some time, it's counting the time it takes, but still the work is being done. You're getting what you want, right? Internet. So just imagine this internet's advantage matches with this mobile advantage. Isn't it? Internet is making you to remotely access some service 
may, may be you know banking, may be shopping, and making sure that you sit where you want and you will go to either a store or a gift card or uh, what is so many sites are there. Okay. Future Bazaar, login, they will show all their uh, you know, menu, what are all they have. You order them, and, uh, each item, how many quantity, available, and everything will be back to your home. Flipkart was like that, isn't it? So, this shopping, advantage of the shopping remotely, doing it remotely, it gets added with a mobile. So, previously, whatever you are doing in, uh, you know, on the laptop, it's even now convenient that while traveling also, you can do this wrong. Isn't it? It's one step forward ahead of it. And for most of the time, we are spending our time more on mobile than on a computer in outside office hours, outside, uh, you know, not on regular work hours, isn't it? So that way, if the mobile gets this web, web means internet, basically. So web inside it, it is like it's like a blast. You can do anything everywhere, isn't it? It's it's such a big, huge difference to you, the way we live, isn't it? So this is what makes our keeps Android with special needs. Okay. So coming to specifically Android, how it evolved, what is its history. So, so as, well, as I was saying, when Symbian OS was only in mobile space, Nokia, Samsung, Sony Ericsson, everybody has a Symbian operating uh, system in it. And we used to make applications using something called JVME, Java or mobile OS. Okay, JVME. So each handset maker used to go to the Symbian, get a version, install it. But the openness was not there. The technical, you know, uh, what is it? The freedom to, you know, make new innovations were not there because Symbian is the owner of that software. So that actually kicked a new idea into most of the device manufacturers, thinking like, let us go for something which is not one person's property, one company's property. Let us have an open operating system that everybody build it, that everybody use it. So that way, these people have come together, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and they started this idea of making an OS, which is like named as Android OS, of course. So all these manufacturers, then soft companies, and then the kind of companies, mobile operators, they have all come together. Main thing was to rival Apple. Because Apple was kind of too much particular about their revenues. So they came up with something called Android. Okay. Uh, different versions. When they first started, they had a version called Cupcake. You can uh, realize that it, it takes hardware. A, B, C, D, like that. Okay. So, Cupcake, Donut, Ekele, Royo, Gingerbread. Gingerbread is running most of the devices in the market now. But of course, Honeycomb has come in between and also created very quickly because they updated the ice cream sandwich. And now they came up to Jelly Bean. So, Jelly Bean is the market now. So, the next is not at all, but it's already with the developers. They generally update their